Hey there, my name is Alexander Asse and I'm excited to be your host today and today we're going to be talking about Do Not Win The Argument Part 2. Now, last week we actually had a part 1 and we actually hit some point and some folks, you know, some beautiful minds that came up and they're like, Alexander, I do not agree with you on this aspect. So, but if you're new here, please do not forget to click the subscribe button and at the same time, Try to review the part one before you continue this part two so you have a clear understanding on what we're actually talking about here today. Now, this is it. Winning an argument is actually dumb. Yeah, because you're actually fighting against yourself. That's the truth. Now, before I'm going to go deep into this, I want to go back to part one so we can have a recap, you know, on what we said last week. I actually made a point about if you're a guy and you have an issue or maybe a disagreement with your lady and it's getting tensed up, right? And the moment it's getting tensed up, as a guy, there's a, there's a level that a guy could get to and he will raise his hands to heat up his woman. So I was like, okay, for you not to get to that level, just take a walk out of the house. You know, just let him know you're leaving the house or just take a walk. That's what I actually said last week. So, and some beautiful minds came up with me and I'm like, Alex, no, I feel that a lady should be communicated to. I was like, okay, that was a brilliant point there. So, I'm going to bring um, the communicated um, words that I had with some people, you know, and I'm also going to address some points real quick and I'm going to bring out some new points that's going to help us grow in this topic today. Now, the thing is, when you have an argument with a lady as a guy, one thing you should know is... Before you leave the house, please try to communicate with the lady. But for a guy, I know for sure because I'm a guy, when a lady breaks your patience level, um, there might be some things that might go wrong. So for me as a guy, before the thing will go wrong, I think I learned something last week, which is communicate with her that you're leaving the house. You know, let her know that you're taking a walk and give yourself timing. Yes, you know, because sometimes a lady could and can um, start thinking, you know, another way around, like, who is he going to meet outside? Where is he going to? It's late at night. Where, you know, they're going to have this, a whole lot thing running through their head, you know, during that process, the moment you step out of the house. You know, so before you leave the house, try to communicate with the lady. Tell her that you are going against my patient level. So I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to do anything to you. I'm just going to step out for an hour or uh, 30 minutes. I'm going to be back and keep to your time. As a guy, keep to your time. It's going to be very, very important. Keep to your time and come back home at the same time. Then maybe if she's asleep, let her uh, wake up in the next morning and you guys have a discussion about it. You know, let it just slide. You know, sometimes it's good to actually kill the situation before you go to bed but if you come back come back to the house and she's sleeping do not wake her because it's not going to be nice yeah so just try to let her go and the next morning you guys should have uh, have a conversation about what it is that you guys need to talk about now one thing i've discovered from the communication i had with some folks last week was this that some lady tends to find it disrespectful for a guy to just walk out on them yeah now this is uh, on, on a uh, on a base on cultural differences now so I'm going to talking about how a woman and a man is raised now one thing I'm going to point here is ideology the first thing I'm going to bring out here is ideology ideology is how you raise who taught you what taught you um, what are the things that made you up what are the things that gave you a perspective about life, about a man, about a woman. Now, ideology can be sown by your mother, your father, your uncle, your auntie, even society. Now, so it depends on who raised you, what raised you, and the people around you that can actually build your ideology. So, most definitely, your ideologies are different. So, in settling an issue, you must understand the lady's ideology. Even before you started dating, you guys should come together and explain how you were raised because it's very important but i feel these are the things that's actually breaking up marriages today and even relationship right because there is no ideology of being listed how on how i was raised my past experiences so you guys will have uh, an understanding of how you guys were raised you know it's going to help the issues you know in the future so the thing is after ideology i'm going to be having 
cultural cultural differences now cultural differences in the sense of if i'm an, if I'm an african and uh, a lady is an european or whatever you know the cultural difference is very very large so for us to have an understanding we need to break our cultural differences we need to bring to the table our cultural differences this is how in my culture where i'm where i'm from um, the people i raised myself with you know these things could help how your culture raise you in the aspect of beliefs now in some cultures they have this um this orientation about how a man should be treated and how a woman should be treated in the african sense a woman to an extent does not have a value in the face of a man you know in i mean deep african sense you know the woman is just okay i just get married to you and you need to respect me you need to do this you know there's this egocentric mentality that a woman cannot be anything to a man in some culture in africa you know and in the western world is quite different where you have a woman power and she doesn't want to take nonsense from you so the difference is really really huge even in an interstate cultural difference there's this there's um, a difference in this tribe, a difference in that tribe. All these things makes up uh, a disagreement. So for you to have a smooth sailing relationship, marriage, whatever, have your cultural differences, you know, put them on the table and dissect it. You know, come together and tell yourself, oh, these things, uh, I don't think it's going to work with me because this is how I feel, this is how it's going, this is how I was raised. And if two of you come together and understand yourself, there might be, you know, and it could be rather um, a platform for you guys to have a smooth sailing relationship and all there is. So the next one is experience, sight. You know, while we were growing up, we saw a lot of things. You know, we were raised, you know, in different aspects. Me, I was raised by sight because what I saw is what actually built me today. You know, sometimes what you saw while you're growing up can actually be uh, a fundamental platform at which you actually grow up today. It's actually what brought up some ideology you know some whatsoever you have today your experiences and you know a child does not listen to what you say but a child sees what you do and copy so while you were being raised as a child to become the woman that you are today you saw a lot of things that oh you thought it was right and because you don't have another um, education about a certain a thing you be like, okay, that is how it's that is how it's supposed to be. Like a young man that was raised in an environment where a man um, tends to beat up his wife or beat up his girlfriend, he might take up the ideology and boom, here we go. He beats up the lady, and that's the life. That's how he was raised because the experiences he had when he was growing up, he saw all those things in, in, in his face, and that's going to be a problem because the other lady or the opposite sex. Or your, your partner might not see that as uh, as a good thing so you guys need to understand yourself and that um, could be cool enough for you guys to have that flow the next one is background and background is really important I mean family now family and experience is also the same thing but your background is very very vital how your family raised you importantly how your mom as a lady raised you and as a man how your dad raised you because these things tends to be um, the borders that actually covers a man and grows a man. If you are a man and if you are a young man and you didn't have a figurehead that you look up to or that told you that this thing you're doing is wrong or this thing you're doing is right, I mean someone that mentored you, someone that you see as an icon, someone that you look up to to grow yourself, if you didn't have this, there might be a wrong um, family background and you guys can have have disagreements all the days of the relationship so we're going to go to learn how to now one thing about learn how to is learn how to de-escalate the situation now when i mean learn how to de-escalate the situation is before you go out listen to the lady now you need to learn how to listen not to respond but listen to compound Listen not to respond, listen to compound. Now, while you are de, de escalating the situation, make sure you listen, not to respond. Listen to what she is saying, listen to where the, the vibe is coming from. This is going to help 
real quick. It's gonna really help. And I'm sorry, uh, the video is getting longer. Uh, most, <laughs> most of you didn't expect this to get longer, but I need to actually touch this point because it's actually very, very important. Now, the thing is this, listing not to respond, but listing to actually compound. Compound what she's saying. Hear, hear her view, hear what she's actually, uh, where she's actually beaming from, the vibe. I know sometimes it's actually gonna go off the limit of a guy, like a guy gonna be like, I'm done, I don't wanna hear this anymore. But bro, listen, just listen not to respond, take it in, absorb it. Because a lady loves a guy that listens. No matter where you go to, no matter the, where, where she's from, she likes a guy to listen to her. Even while you're growing up, a, a baby girl wants you to listen to what she has to say. So please listen. As a young man, listen to your lady. Not to respond, but to actually compound. All right. So the next one is observe. Observe how she feels when she's talking. And as a lady, um, this is also also for you to listen to the guy and not to respond. Also to compound. All right. And listen to how. Uh, also observe how he or she, you know, react when they're actually talking about it. Listen to their emotions. Listen to the figure of speech they use. And mind you. Why you are speaking, listening to your own self. Because if you're just talking out of the blue, it might it might go against some um, some ideologies about the guy. I might break the code of conduct that you guys have actually structured out while you're actually building the relationship. So listen to yourself before you speak. Even while you're trying to um, come out with what you have in you or speak out or make your points known. The point here is, it's not about making your points known. Now, for the habit of de-escalating, I want to make this clear. While you are de-escalating, do not allow your point to mirror a negative vibe towards your partner. Because the truth is, the problem is not your partner. The problem is just out there. So it's supposed to be you and your partner versus the problem, not your partner versus you. And the problem is going to be like this, looking at you like this, okay? You guys can kill yourself, but I'm still here. So you need to deal with the problem. So two of you need to come together while you are de-escalating, while you are listening to each other, while you are compounding, while you are observing, please. The next thing to do is come together. That is where I call regrouping. Sorry, that's what I call regrouping. You know, in that regrouping, that is when you come together and you tell yourself, oh, I made a mistake here. Okay, uh, babe, this is how I, I saw it. This is how, okay, I'm sorry about this. You know, point out your wrong. While you are regrouping, point out your wrongs. Like, oh, I did this thing. I'm not supposed to, okay, I'm sorry. You know, and fight the problem because it is you and your partner versus the problem. You know, so the thing is, so while you're trying to, do this and do that make sure while you're de-escalating it is not just you versus your partner but it's you and your partner versus the problem and that is going to help real quick now the next one is understanding selves understanding views and understanding differences now in understanding views you know like i said how you view the situation you know how you view the situation is very very uh, important and understanding the difference the difference is my view and your view is different and how you take it how you respond to it is different so you get to understand yourselves understand your differences and understand your views and the next one is decision choice and taking a stand now the aspect of choice is you're not trying to mirror a negative vibe to your partner yeah it's a choice for you to actually you know sit back and listen because some people don't have that that patience so you should learn to have a choice. And in the aspect of choice, have a choice um, to sit down sometimes. Now, I'm gonna bring out choice in a, diff in a different angle now. Choice is how you grew or how you were being brought up. You know, it might be negative. You have a choice to turn it, turn it around, right? Have a choice to know, oh, I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm changing me, I'm changing myself. You know, it's a choice. Have that choice to not to be like the man that beats up his wife, not to be like your dad that messed up your mom, and not to be like your mom that redundantly speak to your dad, you know, disrespectfully. 
you know, disrespectfully. Because the thing is, if you do not change, if you do not make a choice while you were growing up, it's going to affect your life. So while your mom is disrespectful to your dad, look at it and say, no, I'm not going to be like this woman. While your dad is abusing your, your mom, look at this man and say, I'm not going to be like my dad. And the same thing goes in society. The moment you see people doing things, make a choice. You have a choice. And while you're making that choice, there's also what we call decision making. Make a decision while you are growing and have a re-education on that aspect that you like. And the next one is taking a stand. Taking a stand that this is what I'm going to be, this is how I'm going to be, and so forth and so forth. You know, the, the next one I'm going to talk about is learn to have. Learn to have emotional intelligence. It's very, very vital because without this, you cannot see someone's view. Emotional intelligence is very important. If you can get some tapes about emotional intelligence, get some tapes, get some books, build your emotional intelligence. And the next one is maturity. Maturity is very important in relationship in actually this de-escalating situation. Be matured. You know, mature yourself to an extent that when she's talking, you know, maturity comes in when you when she's talking and you're listening. Not to respond but to compound. You know, so be matured. Be matured in how you respond, how the things are be matured. You know, so maturity is key in communication. The next one is choice of words. I've said that before. So please make sure your choice of word is very, very important to inculcate in the um, in the argument. Please, when you are having this argument or you're trying to mend the situation, your words are very vital. Learn how to mend them. Learn how to use them appropriately. The next one is be a problem solver. You know, have that problem solving mentality. It's going to help a lot. All right. And the last but not the least is have a mentor. All right. Have a mentor that you can talk to. Now, I'm going to deal on the mentor a little bit more. Now, when you have a mentor, now there are some, have a mentor that don't have biases. All right. That, oh, she's a lady. So you have to listen to her. No, 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 no. Once the lady is wrong, the mentor should and must treat the lady as such that baby girl, you're wrong. But as a guy, you need to do this. So when your mentor is biased, mm -mm, you have to run. Get a mentor that is not biased. And as a mentor that you're listening to me, please, please and please try not to be biased, you know, for the lady or for the guy. If you're a lady, uh, you're, a mentor, you're a female mentor, please do not be biased on the lady or on the man. Try to look for a platform that you can put them together and make sure they have this balance and everything can go smoothly so as a mentor please do your best to make sure they have a smooth relationship and if your mentor is biased again please get a new mentor you know to actually you know put you guys in the right stand of life so i'm still your host alexander asse i'm still here i'm gonna be here next friday and please if you're still here if you've not subscribed click the subscribe button and follow us on Instagram at Asse Junior. And I'm so sorry if this video took you a long, long time to actually sit your ass down and listen. But the thing is this, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here to the end of the video. And I'll see you the next Friday. We're gonna have something else, something beautiful. By the grace of God, I pray we don't have a part three of this. But if it comes to that, we're gonna have a part three because I'm here as a personal development coach to actually help you build yourself in different aspects of life and we can actually be better and better and better so peace unto you i'll see you next friday i remain alexander as your personal development coach and i'll see you right around the corner peace and do not forget to love your neighbor as you love yourself peace alexander i bye